This is uh, Richard back at you and Annie. I wanted to show you the difference between a straight cut and an angle cut uh, gear on a planetary system and why they use them and why they don't use them. So what we got here is a straight cut planetary uh, brand new uh, for a shorty dragster, a shorty transmission. You have your ring gear here, you have your sun gear here. Now these are transmission specialties uh, pieces here. They're brand new. Uh, we're putting them in a little dragster that we're doing. Very nice pieces. Now you can see here, the one that we took out of it has angle cut, angle cut ring gear, angle cut sun gear. Now you can also tell this shaft here is twisted and fixed to break off. That's why we're putting new planetaries in it. But why they use straight cut gears is because of the load. Uh, this gear here, uh, when it turns, it's basically just rolling, rolling forwards and backwards. Uh, it doesn't have a preload uh, side to side. So if this gear here was just rolling, it would just roll. It wouldn't be trying to push side to side. But if you have this one here, anytime we have an angle cut, uh, the load would depend on which way the gear is turning, depending on which way it's trying to shove this gear side to side. And while they put that angle in there is uh, to keep the noise down. Anytime you have a straight cut gear, the noise is, uh, it just whines tremendously. You remember your old school buses when you'd get in them and they'd take off, off uh, take off and uh, you'd hear the old transmission whine and the next time it'd shift, you'd hear another whine. That's because the early uh, uh, 540s, Allison's and stuff, uh, all had uh, straight cut planets in them. We, I'd done hundreds of them things for the school uh, uh, department. So, but anyway, um, this planet here would be a quiet planet. That planet over there would be a noisy one. Now, if you, every car had a straight cut planet in it, every time it took off in the light, it would wind going down the road and it'd just be terrible. And that's why they put these angles in there. Now, like on your Dodge diesels, uh, they had straight cut planets in some of the early ones, uh, the early five, A518s and stuff like that uh, for the uh, diesels, heavy duties and stuff like that, the old farm trucks and stuff, seen a lot of them. Uh, they would have an overdrive one when they shifted to overdrive. You'd hear just a slight whine out of them. Uh, but Dodge uh, went to an angle cut like this in the overdrive section, and uh, they actually laid it over too far the first time, and it had so much thrust load that it would take out the washers in between the gear and the housing. So what they did is they just kept standing the gear up, the teeth up a little bit more. They did that three times to get it right, to where they had no wine, but they didn't have such a tremendous amount of load shoving the gear side to side that it wouldn't take the wash, the thrust washers out in between the gears. So that's one uh, straight cut application there. Now also on your 400s, your early model 400s, your motor homes and stuff like that, they all had straight cut planets too. Now this is a, a later design, which this is an angle cut here. Now GM, when they did make their angle cut gears, they did it perfect the first time. They never had to change it again. No problems ever, ever. But on their heavy duty motorhomes, uh, their, you know, 2,500, some of the 3,500 trucks, uh, they had straight cut planets too. So you could expect a little bit of a whine out of them. But uh, the straight cut planet would take a lot more load. I uh, didn't have uh, sun gear problems, you know, all that type of stuff. So... Straight cut planet, gonna be noisy. Angle cut planet, it's gonna be a lot quieter. Straight cut planet will take a lot more load. Angle cut planet will not. So, but anyway, you get over here to tell me to show you on the, the Power Glide Servo. Now this is a transpecialty two ring servo. They use a rubber seal at the top and a metal one at the bottom. If you wanna look to find out which groove you put it in, a lot of times the uh, seal uh, is going to lay over on top of one of these aluminum pieces here or even down in the groove. So you always want to look for some type of differences here uh, to determine what, where the metal ring goes or the rubber ring goes. Okay. Now since there's going to be pressure on the top pushing it, you're going to put it in like this. You don't want to put it in like that because then the fluid would just go by the lip. Or if you flip it over this way, the fluid's going to capture the lip. So you want to make sure uh, which way you put that seal on. But then here you can see your standard servo seal here, just one ring groove, one ring. 
uh, doesn't clamp on the band as good where your dual ring servo would clamp on the band a lot tighter and hold. Also, we have a billet cover here. Now these, we like to use these too. They're a lot thicker. They won't break off where the finger area is here where it bolts to the case. Anytime the band is applied, it's trying to blow this thing off the side of the case. Comes with a new O-ring gasket, a plug for your pressure gauge, your port, new bolts. Now, if you're using a stock cover, I always like to take a bigger washer and put on here because they're bad about cracking right here and they'll crack all three of them to blow that centerpiece plumb out. But I've learned if you take a washer and put on there and get a little bit bigger footprint on that thing, it actually holds up a lot better. And if you have already got it on there on your race car or whatever, you can just take one bolt at a time and put a bigger washer like that. You don't have to pull the cover, just do one at a time and not change anything. So that's a plus right there to do uh, if you don't have a bullet uh, servo. So big upgrade. We also got a transmission spec with these pump here. It's got hardened gears. It's already been roller bearing here. It comes with high pressure rings, basically all ready set up to go. So we're really excited about that too. So we're fixing to get our shorty dragster together and I'll call the customer probably later on today so they can come pick this up. But I just want to show you the differences between the straight cut and the angle cut and, and why they do it. I hope I kind of explained it good enough to you guys. So just remember, straight, noisy, angle, quiet. More load on the straight, less load on the, the angle cut. So well, anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe, push the notification bell, and have a wonderful day.